Welcome back, Wolfpack. Rolls here. We're taking a trip from Cal's to Hoenn and bringing Xerneas with us. So, Xerneas, a legendary Pokemon, we're going to be dealing with some really crazy stuff right now. If you're in a format where legendaries are allowed, this is pretty much what this is for. And Xerneas, to begin with, for the tutors, nothing great. Hyper Voice and Headbutt Outrage, let's just not care about those and just look at some straight up Xerneas sets. And Xerneas is insane that we already have these ridiculous stats, 126 hit points, 131 on both offenses, close to 100 in the defenses, and close to 100 on the speed. Yeah, like Xerneas is going to be bulky, it's going to hit hard, it's going to be absurd, and it also has its signature move, Geomancy, which is super, super busted. Takes two turns, first turn is charging, Sex second turn you gain two stages of special attack, two stages of speed, and two stages of special defense, so pretty much it's the equivalent of using Quiver Dance, like, back to back. Except, it counts under Power Herb. Two turn moves complete in one turn, including Geomancy. That's crazy because, okay, you have a ton of bulk, you're going to endure that hit, and now you go and just sweep everything in your way. Now, I was thinking running the hit points is probably just going to be the best option because you're so fast that that speed doubling at level 50 is going to make you untouchable, and I'm going to just bump it up to level 100 as well to just show the numbers. You, you're going to be fast. Now you can take points off of the hit points and put them into speed if you're looking for a specific speed tier. Like, I'm afraid of this Scarf Pokemon, I'm afraid of this other Pokemon, but for the most part, being well over 450 speed at level 100, that's going to make you pretty set. Now, the move set's kind of interesting, because Moonblast, 95 power, going to get Stab, Fairy Aura boosts it by 33%, all active uh, Fairy types on the field as well, so, I mean, now we're looking at close to 200, if not, like, right around 200 base power on that Moonblast. Even if you're resisted by something like a Fire-type, a Steel-type, or a Poison-type, you're still going to be doing more damage with Moonblast than any other move. So, really, I was just kind of falling back to the basics. Hidden Power Fire. Well, you might as well just use it against Ferrothorn and Scizor. Four times effective moves right there. Aurora Beam. Again, you're going to just be looking for the Dragon Flying-type Pokemon, or something that's four times weak, weak to Ice. And that's kind of it. Other than that, Moonblast just has more damage than any standard attack that's going to be super effective. So, you just really have to play around the weaknesses. And unfortunately, Xerneas doesn't have too much that you can also maybe, if you can't get a hold of Hidden Power Fire, just put in Psychic. That way you'll at least have something crazy against those uh, uh, Poison-type Pokemon. But other than that, you're just going to get ridiculous amounts of special attack and then win. That, oh, let's just double 400 special attack and then go and use an incredibly high base power move. Really, you're just going to steamroll everything, and that's how Xerneas works once you get that setup going. If you don't want to run a standard Geomancy Xerneas, you want to kind of catch your opponent off guard, you can run Choice Scarf. You, all you have to do is invest uh, 148 hit points at level 50 to get to that 138. Now you're outspeeding 135 base speed Pokemon. You also have a good amount of special attack, and your attack is really high. And the idea behind this is that physically, you can tear up a lot of Pokemon, that this is going to hit fire flying types really well, close combat that's going to give you coverage, and a high amount of base power, and for Horn Leech, you're just looking for sustain, as well as you also have access to Mega Horn. So I mean, if you want to play the accuracy game, the idea is you don't invest as much into the attack because you're using high base power, but then with your special attack, you're still throwing out a very intimidating Moonblast. Again, stab, base power modifications, high amount of special attack, this is still looking at one hit KO potential on neutral hitting Pokemon that aren't super bulky. So this is just going to give you coverage, you ch come in with your Scarf, you look for that pick, you go for that damage, and since you're running physical stuff, you know, your opponent might not expect it. They expect to wall you with some kind of Chansey, and then you close combat them to the face. And this Xerneas can just find some really weird pickups. This is just the more standard, probably better set, but if you want to run Scarf, Xerneas does have that because 131 base attack. Can't really give that up because it's still very useful. Also, Xerneas in double battles, pretty much going to be the same ideas, uh, Dazzling Gleam is going to work, you can put on Flash Cannon and try to take out other Fairy-type Pokemon, because in doubles, you might see two, like, one of your opponent's Pokemon might be a Fairy-type, so they're boosting from Fairy Aura, you just want to Flash Cannon them immediately and handle it, Dazzling Gleam, uh, you're going to get a lot of boost on this, and it's going to hit both opponents, so that's pretty strong right there, and then we might just want to mention Smeargle. Smeargle can do the same thing, it can Geomancy with a Power Herb, but this time Baton Pass. And that's kind of silly. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. That's how you use Xerneas in Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. And I hope you all have a nice day.